Now, uh, the question about the minority part is, is, is a good one. Uh, I think the politics is the art of the possible. <laughs> and uh, I think it's, it's important that, that uh, to the extent you can, as a council member, to, to build coalitions in order to further, further the, you know, the, the principles upon, uh, upon which you govern. And ideally, you'd be able to you know, get that third vote. And I think Justice Brennan from the Supreme Court always said that uh, his most important thing that he does, uh, or he did as a Supreme Court member, was to know how to count to five. <laughs> and uh, I think, uh, you know, as a city council member, the key is to be able to count to three and to get that, that positive coalition, that, that coalition on the majority in which to, to then further your goals. And uh, that's, that's what I try to do. Um, but there are times when, for principle, you need to vote no on something when maybe that, that, that compromise uh, just is too much or isn't there. And, and so, you know, at that point you hope to use another Supreme Court justice. Uh, you hope that you're, you're maybe like Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, who um, is probably one of the most widely quoted Supreme Court uh, jurists, uh, but many of his most famous opinions were on the dissent. <laughs> and it was only years later when his opinions ended up becoming the majority opinion of the court, and uh, I didn't make this—I didn't mean to make this such a uh, Supreme Court-focused analogy, but um, but I think it's it, it is it is certainly important sometimes to be on that that minority end and to and to vote that way. Um, you, you you there's only so much compromise of your principles, um, but you need to the key to governing certainly on the city council, but but anywhere really is to build those coalitions and to, um, to make sure that, um, that maybe you give a little here, but you get a lot there, and to be able to fashion that, that, that coalition. Okay, Dan. Uh, what specifically have you done over the past two to three years to help build awareness in this community of uh, values that you feel make you a Democrat? I'd say that, now I've been on the city council for about one year now, a little above, over one year. And uh, so the past two to three years, of course, encompasses time in which I wasn't on the city council. But it encompasses time in which I was on the Social Services Commission, when I was actually chair of the Social Service Commission. And on that commission, we were very active, and the commission actually still is active, in terms of raising awareness in our community uh, and at Sacramento of issues that, to go back to one of the first questions we talked about, of issues affecting the most vulnerable. And two in particular, uh, first is what, what I see, what I, what, what I saw back then, what I still see as this great disinvestment in our future that's coming out of Sacramento, it's coming out of the federal government, uh, even at the local level you're seeing it. And um, it gets back to, uh, you know, the, the, the tuition hikes at UC Davis, it gets back to the cuts that you're seeing at schools, gets back to the cuts of the most vulnerable, and just cuts to, to children in general. And uh, I just think that the priorities need to be reset so that we, we make those, those kinds of things a priority <laughs> and, and other things not. And the social services, on the Social Services Commission, we really tried hard through, um, through advocacy, uh, through, and then of course through the city council, to to raise uh, awareness of those issues in our community and in Sacramento. Second of all is the issue of homelessness. Uh, I was on the Social Services Commission. I uh, wasn't quite on the council yet when uh, the city decided to be a, become a part of this 10-year plan to end homelessness. And uh, I, I certainly played a leading role on the commission and, and in the community in terms of, of really raising awareness about that and to getting the community behind that initiative, uh, which uh, which again, I think has, has some real potential uh, to achieve that, that really monumental goal. And then, of course, as uh, onto, the, onto the council, I think um, we as Democrats, um, we, are, we believe that government fundamentally can play a positive role in people's lives, in helping the most vulnerable, in education, and in, in, in a number of areas. And all of those things I agree with. And I believe that uh, as a city council member, um, or just our city council in general, has a strong role to play. Uh, now, of course, we are 
uh, I, I've learned, you know, <laughs> very uh, in very difficult ways sometimes that we are we're dependent in so many ways on what happens at the federal level and at the state level. But uh, nonetheless, the council itself, you know, we can through advocacy try to change that, uh, what's going on. But also, just there are ways that at the local level you can make a real difference and you can ensure that despite uh, the economic situation out there, um, you can make sure that, that we have our priorities right in our community and that our city council has those priorities the priorities correctly and it, to the extent it can again in a time of limited resources is making sure that we, we can achieve those. Okay, again, and then last uh, but not least but the most basic question in the election <laughs> is why should people vote for you? I, uh, I think that they, sh they should vote for me for three reasons basically. I, uh, again, um, I uh, grew up in this community and I want to give back to this community, and that's why uh, one of the reasons I, I sought council in the first place. And um, I love this community, and uh, I, I see the city council as the ultimate way to serve this community and the ultimate way to give back. Second of all is I have, as I mentioned, two small children. One, uh, Avery, is three years old, and the other, Layla, is uh, almost turning one. And I want to make sure that the community that my daughters grow up in and inherit uh, is as strong and certainly stronger than the one that I grew up in and my wife grew up in. And um, so I would, I, I, I've worked hard since I've been on the council for the past year uh, to ensure that happens, but there's a lot more work to do, and I would love t for the voters to... Uh, keep me in office so that I can continue uh, doing that work. And lastly is I represent a new generation of leadership in our community. And I think that what City Hall does need is a new generation of ideas and a new generation of vision. And I feel that I've brought that and I feel that, uh, that especially in, in, uh, in addressing these very difficult issues, I believe that, that we need that kind of thinking and that uh, I would love to uh, continue to bring that over the next four years. So for those three main reasons, I would love your support.